right, I'm Brian Zeisloff. I'm with Center Point Property Management in Boise, Idaho. I've been in and around property management for almost 17 years. And here's what I'll be talking about today. It's uh, what can I expect for fees and costs in property management in Boise. Uh, there is no standard in Boise as far as what a company will charge. You'll see um, commissions as far as percentage of rent, leasing fees, um, setup fees, and then you'll see nickel and dime costs in the, in the, in the small writing on a management agreement. So you want to make sure to read through everything and know what you're going to be charged for. Uh, one thing I do tell people is not only should you be aware of the fees, but you're going to want to interview that person on a, from a personality standpoint. You know, are, you, are they a good fit? You're establishing a long-term business relationship for probably one of the biggest investments you'll have. Do you get along with that person well? Is their sense of communication the same as yours? You know, how involved do you want to be versus how involved they expect you to be? Um, is it going to be emails? Is it going to be phone calls? Is it going to be nothing unless something goes wrong? So you want to set those expectations up front, and sometimes those are more important aspects than what it's actually going to cost you on a monthly basis. As far as the percentage of commission, you'll see a variation on that. Um, you know, for example, anywhere from 10 to 7 percent, and that'll change depending on what other costs they they also include. If it's uh, say, for example, a 10 percent commission fee, which is 10 percent of the rent collected, um, typically there would be no leasing fee, no. Um, renewal fees, no advertising, etc. It's just going to depend on the company and how they have it structured. All the way down to, for example, the 7%, you may see some advertising costs, some leasing fees, other costs involved. Um, frankly, I've done the math. It's just a matter of whether the owner wants a larger percent on a per monthly basis or a larger upfront cost and then a smaller uh, percentage on a monthly basis. Because after a year's time, uh, depending on obviously what the rent is, they're very similar. So, and then after two and three years, it even gets closer. So it's just, uh, you know, what do you prefer as an owner and what your financial uh, condition is going to be. Thanks for listening. I'm Brian. If you have any further questions, please get a hold of me.